Hello dear bass players, this is Kai and today I'm going to explain to you how the 108 day mentorship works. Um, I don't want to put you through all this text and stuff like that, so I figured out I'm going to pretend that you are already my student and I'm your teacher and we're ready to go. So in a nutshell, um, what it is is I become your mentor for 108 days. Um, and as such, I will be your resource, which means I have the information uh, and I can demonstrate certain things for you. Um, and you control the material that you want to work on, the topic, uh, the subject, and also how much time you invest. Okay, uh, It's not up to me to say practice this much every day. This is something that you need to do. However, I do have some ground rules during these 108 days, and that is you must practice for one minute a day minimum. Now, don't laugh. You think that that's too little to progress, but you would be surprised because the continuity is what really matters. Because once you pick up your bass, you might play more than a minute, but this is for those days where you're like, oh, today I had such a big day and I'm tired and I had a lot of stress at work and life and all of that. You always have time for one minute. You can just grab your instrument and just run that exercise one time. Just have a nice time with it and then put it down. OK, so um, how does it work? In the very beginning, let's say you say, all right, Kai, I'm interested, let's do it. You will get a quiz from me, few, um, a few um, questions for you to answer. Uh, they will tell me your background. Are you a beginner, intermediate, or advanced student? What are your interests? Right. So I get that information, you go chuk, 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 fill it out, email it to me. Okay, I check it out. Actually, you don't even have to email it to me because it comes to me automatically. See, I am tech savvy, so I hooked it up so that Google thing shoots it into my mailbox. And I go, ah, okay, he's into Joni Mitchell. All right, he plays the four string. Cool. Okay, he wants to learn about rhythm. So then what I do is I send you, first of all, a confirmation. You are in. Okay, great. Now it's my time, my turn to go to work. And I will make an exercise for you based on what you are interested in. And this exercise I will demonstrate in a video just like this one. I'll be like record myself and then you get a link emailed. Click on the link and you go, ah, okay, here it is, the fingering, everything's explained, that you know might you might get some written music uh, or maybe it's just explained visually or both you might get a backing track something to play with so I have all these little uh, media that you know I use to teach my students so then you get to work and uh, you work on your own time it'll take you maybe a week maybe 10 days to get to the point where you can do it comfortably and then it's your turn so Turn on the webcam, don't be shy, play your exercise. Doesn't have to sound great because the webcam is totally fine. Record it and then you upload that to YouTube. If you don't know how to upload a video to YouTube, it's free and I have a tutorial for you. So then that little link that you get when you upload, that you put it in an email email to Kai. I'm like, ah, okay, he finished his homework. Let me check it out. Okay. So I'm like, oh, all right, good. Nice job. W well done. Well done. So I'm going to email you some words of encouragement. And then also I might go, okay, but you see that hand position right there when you're slapping. Don't try to move your thumb when you're doing it make the motion out of the wrist kind of like this it's just an example okay could be something else but i will basically s try to see those little things where there could be improvement so it could be many things that i mentioned but it will always be to your benefit 
so that next time around you get a little bit of an advantage okay so then when you get the feedback you can now choose to either change the subject or go deeper into the same subject you see so you might go oh no I want to learn about how to play Stella by Starlight okay so then I go to work again I play Stella by Starlight show it to you send you the the music a backing track some coaching so this goes on for hundred and eight days yeah and the pace is dictated by you and how much time you can invest you know if you don't have much time you still have your your daily regimen that you're working on and then it takes you a little bit longer to make the video if you're super on top of it you know once a week we're exchanging stuff so either way it's fine I'm always sort of down with your uh, pace of growth or your pace of how quickly you move or how slowly you move depending on what's best for you okay so that's basically how you know the day-to-day -day thing works um, the long-term thing here's the cool thing there are a couple of things that really will help you move along one of them is I'm gonna give you a personal practice log so it's a, it's a Google sheet that is shared you and I get to see that nobody else and uh, in that Google sheet you keep little notes every day so I can see okay he did his practice he did his practice and the cool thing is I already know what you're working on since we figure that out ahead of time um, but what I can see is how you are doing on a day-to-day -day basis based on a number from one to five one is you're doing badly you're not feeling good about your practice and five is it's amazing and you're having a, a your mind is exploding the new levels and then somewhere in there you know so every day I kind of I can look and I can go oh, two three three two four two one five you know so 108 days gives you a good record and it gives you knowledge about how you feel as you go through this continuous thing so it's really good because you have someone who keeps you accountable without breathing down your neck without telling you what to do but at the same time I back you up a hundred percent with the good information you see so there are other little cool things about the program like the before and after video now what I like my students to do is when they have picked an exercise they want to learn I, I ask my students to do the before video that means you record yourself doing the very very first time you do the new thing it's gonna be with warts and all it's gonna be messed up tempo and you know rough around the edges however record that upload it put it in your in into your daily log for for yourself for later and you keep it there once you're on the other side of practice after a week 10 days you record the video for me so I can coach you then you put that video underneath the first one the after video that is and then when you've reached your goal you watch them both back to back and it's a great sense of satisfaction now why you see when you work every day and those of you who do regular practice know about that it feels like you're not progressing much practice can be so slow that it almost feels like you're not doing much but it's just that it, it goes by so smoothly that you don't see that you're actually getting quite a bit better and when you can compare your very first with your very last video then it's gonna be like a revelation and you're like wow I'm actually a good musician <laughs> and that's what we want you to feel like you see so I'm mainly interested in you developing a passion and a love for the instrument and for music I'm not into pushing you too hard or uh, slacking off it's like we got to be somewhere in the middle you know between pushing and laying back and being compassionate and, and easygoing so I'll help you find that nice little balance uh, and that's my passion that's what I do that's why I love doing the mentorship program 
So uh, yeah, there are a lot of other cool little things, but I just figured out rather than constantly hitting you up with text, I'm just gonna say, hey, here's the teacher, uh, no strings attached, this is how we do it. It's lo-fi, it's real, and it's inspiring. All right, cats? So I hope to see you at the 108-day mentorship program, The Deep Journey with Kai Eckhart, your teacher, um, graduate from Berklee College of Music, from the John McLaughlin Band, Wayne Shorter, Patrice Russian, Garage Mahal, and now teacher at CJC and UC Berkeley, and now coming to you directly with the bass guitar. And this is my 1969 Fender Jazz that came to me in 1975. I've been playing it that long. And the one and only Jaco Pastorius played this very instrument and thought it was his bass. I'll tell you that story um, if you become my student, all right? So on that note, I uh, wish you all a wonderful day, evening, in whatever time zone you are. From West Oakland to the rest of the world, peace out.